Hello, I'm John Hepburn, and I'm going to read one of my picture books to you. It's called The Island. It's illustrated by Peter Sheehan, and of course I wrote the story. And it's the story of a little blind boy who lives on an island, and the way in which he changes how everyone on that island looks at life. Here we go. The Island, written by John Hefnan, illustrated by Peter Sheehan. There was once a hard-working tribe that rarely smiled and never laughed. The tribe lived on an island. It was a beautiful island, but the people were too busy to notice. All except one. A blind boy, an urchin, who lived under the stars. The urchin heard the size of the sea and listened to the whispers of the breeze. He felt the welcome of the sun as it woke the day, and he could smell the scent of a storm. He felt the air change when the seabirds wheeled, and heard fish as they slid through the bay, and better than anyone, he knew the tickle of sand between his toes. In the mornings, he let the island reveal its treasures, swirling shells and time-worn pebbles, crinkled sponges, sculptured coral, and the twisted limbs of driftwood. In the afternoons, he squatted on the pavement, surrounded by his riches. He held them up for all to see and any to take, but no one did. Early one morning, the boy heard a faint sound far out in the bay. It was something he didn't recognise. He waited and listened as it slid closer. Soon a creature was at the water's edge. I'll show you straight away. Soon a creature was at the water's edge. The boy stroked it and liked what his fingers felt. Soft, rubbery lips, scales that trembled, slithery skin warm and wet with life. The urchin smiled. I'll just show you that picture one more time. I like this picture. When the creature slid back into the water, the boy followed. Soon they were playing together in the waves, and a strange sound tumbled from their lips. They laughed. Hmm. 
Mm. The people of the tribe ran to the water's edge. It's a monster, they yelled. Come away, come away. But the boy didn't hear them. He was laughing so loud. The boy's laughter swirled around the people. It drew them into the water, and soon the whole tribe was playing with the people. Waves of laughter washed up the beach. Well, the people liked how this laughing made them feel. Every day they played with the creature until it left with the sinking sun. Ah, our hard work has at last been rewarded, the people told each other. We have found happiness. Oh, yes, but what if the creature does not come one day? Someone asked. No, oh, what if it goes away and never returns? Well, that must not be allowed to happen, the people agreed. We must capture the creature and keep it forever. So they caught the creature and dragged it off to a pool. After that, the people came to the pool every day. They swam and dived and paddled with the creature, but they didn't notice that it was changing before their very eyes. Only the urchin noticed, and he knew that the life of the creature was trickling away like sand through his fingers. So late one night, when the rest of the tribe were asleep, the boy helped the creature escape. The creature was exhausted, but the boy pulled and shoved and little by little dragged it to the shore. crept in, and the sea gathered around the creature. Its skin trembled, an eye opened, a tentacle moved, and as the sun lifted itself from the sea, they drifted away. The next day, the people searched the island, but all they found were a few scales lying in the sand. They sat on the beach and waited, but saw no sign of the creature or the boy. They called to the sea, but heard no reply. They still wait on the shore. Sometimes they imagine they see the boy and the creature rising and falling in the waves, and sometimes they even hear laughter. 
but to most of them, it still seems far away. That's it. I actually like the little piece that's written on the back of the book. How do we find happiness? And once we find it, how can we hold on to it? There you go. Well, I hope you enjoyed the book. I like it partly because of Peter Sheehan's wonderful illustrations. I love them. But also because it's a book about, about happiness and, and beauty. And they're two things that are really important to me. Okay, see you later.